Hi, welcome to Pencil College. In example 2 for chapter 9.1 of Curves, we will be dealing with a similar problem as seen in example 1. Okay, so the question asks to solve for the point of intersection given as A and B of this curve and this line. So let me just write out the equation of the curve and the line on the top left hand corner of the screen. Okay, so this is the equation of the curve and this is the given equation of the line. Okay, so at this point in time, how do we solve for A and B? We will basically solve these two equations simultaneously. Okay, so if I substitute equation number 2 into equation number 1, this is what I will get. Okay, expand, expanding this out, I will get this. Okay, and then finally, by shifting everything to one side of the equation, okay, I will simply get this okay I, and I realize that I can factorize this okay and uh, just get this and finally I'll conclude that x is 3 <clears throat> or 12 okay so since b is further off to the right than a I conclude that the x coordinate of b must be 12 whereas the x coordinate for a must be 3 Okay, so let me move on to find the corresponding y coordinate. So y is 6 minus x, which is 6 minus 3 in this case. And then y is 6 minus x. Okay, so I will just get negative 6. So therefore, the coordinates for a is 3, 3. And the coordinates for b will be 12, negative 6. Okay. Moving on, in part B, I'm asked to find the area of triangle OAB. Okay, so let me just mark out the coordinates of O, which is just the point of origin, which is 0, 0. And for part B, we'll be using a formula to help us solve. And this, you know, I'll conveniently call it as the shoelace method. Okay, if you, uh, you know, you could have, you might have probably seen it, you know, in some other books. And if you have forgotten how to do it, okay, just watch the videos on coordinate geometry. Okay, so the area of triangle AO, OAB rather, okay, is given by this formula. So half, okay, and probably I'll start with the point O, okay. So starting from O, I will go in an anti-clockwise direction. So from O will bring me to B followed by A. So point, so for B, it will be this coordinates and a is this and finally don't forget that the point that you started with you have to end off with the same point okay so how are we going to solve this okay let me show you the multiplication process so 0 times negative 6 okay don't forget the modular sign so 0 times negative 6 plus 12 times 3 plus 3 times 0 Okay, so what I'm doing here is this multiplied by this, this multiplied by this, and this multiplied by this. Okay, and I'll sum this up. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is to sum up, or rather, sorry, subtract these numbers. So I will subtract 0 times 12. Okay, 0 times 12. And then I'll subtract negative 6 times 3. So subtract negative 6 times 3. And then I'll subtract... 3 times 0. Okay, close. Close modulus. Okay, so after I work this out, I realize that this is just 54 units. And finally, this is just 27 units squared. Okay, so the area of triangle OAB is 27 units squared. Thank you for joining me in this video. Okay, I'll see you, you know, for more further videos. Please visit, visit pencilcollege.com.